Well, I'll be darned. There's a new osprey pair using the nest. So if those osprey are there, and this, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, there's a new osprey pair over there. Oh my gosh, they're that close to each other. Like that's a miracle right there. Oh my gosh, I gotta tell my grandma. Grandma, Grandma, it's a different osprey pair. It's a different osprey pair. Yes, really. The osprey is still sitting on that nest, the female of that nest. And there's two osprey on that nest. Yes. They're a new osprey nest. They're building a nest for the first time. It's the baby from that one from last year? No. no, they don't make them. They take four years. It takes four years. And then they don't migrate back until the second year. After the sec second year, they migrate back. And then they migrate like a little bit further, like the next year. Mm -hmm. They kind of go back and forth, back and forth to South America and back to here again. Bahamas. Or the Bahamas or Southern Florida. Usually it's either Southern Florida, the Caribbean Islands, or it's in South America. Yeah, and then they come back here after the second year. They stay there for the first year, and then they migrate the second year. And then they find a mate here, yeah. Here. All right, so yeah, so there they are. This is, this is amazing. Eh? I can't believe it. Hi, Osprey. Welcome home. Welcome to your new home. Welcome to St. Mary's, Georgia. I'd like to introduce you to this wonderful place that you can call home. And very nice. They're, they're building a nest on the light. Oh, on a light stand, I can't believe it. Oh, it's such a miracle. The miracle of a nest. Oh, thank you. Wow. So you can kind of take a look at these osprey here. So you can see he's got yellow eyes, right? No, wait, is that, does that osprey have yellow eyes? Yeah, I'm trying to see here. Or does it have orange eyes? Yellow or orange? I can't really tell. I don't really know for sure if that's the same osprey that we saw last year. The juvenile osprey? I'd be quite impressed if it was. Okay, there's, there goes the osprey, okay. Hmm. Okay, so far so good. Okay, so those osprey are quite busy. Alright, so he's flying over to get something. Okay. It's the only thing about, oop, there it is, there it is, right there. Yeah, they're pretty quick at it. Like, they just grab and go. Just grab and go. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's a flying right over me. Yeah, they seem to have yellow eyes, so... That must mean that, well, obviously they have to be both adults in order for them to be mating and having a nest and everything. But wow. I'm really loving these osprey. Wow. They're building a nest for the first time. Beautiful, look at them. I want to see the show. This is a spectacle event. An amazing spectacle event right here. Oh, is he going to fly off? He or she, whichever one it is. Um, oh yeah, this osprey right here, 
The one on the left is the male. You can tell because he doesn't have the brown necklace like the female has. So that's good, okay. So no, so no brown on the necklace, whereas that one probably does. Now the only thing that makes me worry about these Osprey is the fact that it's so darn close to this Osprey nest right here. But this osprey seems to be okay with it. Yeah, osprey's just standing right there. Question is, which osprey would I, would I rather film? Would I rather film this osprey? Or would I rather film these osprey right here? Oh, oh wait, okay. Oh, wait, wait, where are you going? Oh. Oh, man. All right, there we go, okay. So, you know, the Osprey are minding their own business here, even though they're nearby. That's good, okay. So it seems like the Osprey over here are cool with it, that uh, they're over here. Oh, and here he comes, oh yeah, here we go, here's another stick, oh yeah, here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, another stick, yay, yay. Yay, bring another stick to the nest. More sticks, more sticks, more sticks. More sticks. I need more sticks. I need lots and lots of sticks. Gotta make this nest looking good. Looking sharp. And yeah, they need to kind of rearrange things a little bit because they got some sticks that are literally falling down there. But don't worry, they'll get the hang of it. They got this. Yeah, they got this. Alright, how about I try to set up my tripod right here, okay? Yeah, so that's, that's amazing. That's a spectacle to see. Let's see if I can get just a little bit closer here, okay? So as you can see, those those guys are literally like running right there. And the Osprey aren't even like budging at all. Thank you. Oh, oh, there we go. All right. Haha. <laughs> Caught him flying. So you can see it's the same Osprey just going back and forth, back and forth from the same trees. What just happened? For some reason my camera just stopped. Like all of a sudden. Wow, this is great. I mean, I totally love these osprey right here. Building a nest right behind this baseball field complex. I can't believe it. Oh, man. This is great. But now there's more competition now. The competition is always a good thing, right? We always want competition. So the only thing is if these Osprey decide to fish at St. Mary's Lake, like what's gonna happen with the other Osprey that are closer to the lake? You know what I mean? And am I gonna have to drive all the way around just to get to the lake, just to see them fishing at the lake? <laughs> have to wonder about that. All right, Osprey, go that way. Go that way. It's time for you to grab more sticks. Go that way. That way, Osprey. Yeah, there we go. Yes, yes, yes. See, this Osprey is so smart. He could see my hand movements and everything. Smartest Osprey ever right here. I'd have to say if I put an intelligence factor of this Osprey, he would be a 10 for the most intelligent, like on a scale of one through 10. 
Huh? Yeah, he grabbed another branch. He flew off as soon as I pointed. Okay, so he chooses to put it there, okay. Alright, good, good. I just wonder why he built a nest here. Probably because it's the tallest structure near St. Mary's River, most likely. All right, Osprey. Time to go again, come on. Fly that way. Hey. Fly that way. Go on. Go on, get another stick. Don't be acting lazy, come on. Go grab another stick. Another stick. Go that way. Go that way. You gonna go or not? Fly that way! It's not quite working this time. Hmm. Yeah, he's just trying to catch his breath. He'll go when he's ready. Yeah, go that way. There we go. See that? Although he was getting ready to fly off anyways. <laughs> Even before I started pointing. Okay. So always a problem when I, when he ends up, oh wait, there he is again. He circles around so quick. So you can just see him just going around and around. I'll tell you one thing, this certainly takes a lot of camera exercise. Look how quick he grabs stuff from the... Where is he now? Do you see him? Oh, wait a minute. There's the Osprey. Oh, he fooled me. So you can see the way he kind of circles around the trees a little bit. He kind of like looks around and hmm not that branch not that branch maybe this branch hmm no not that one maybe this one oh wait he's already got a branch <laughs> so it's just kind of weird how he makes like irregular patterns when he's flying Alright, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. So he's kind of picking different spots, different uh... Wow. He's pointing that, putting that branch there, okay. Great, great. Very nice. You really deserve a reward. 
for all this work that you're doing. You really do. But I'm sure this osprey is going to be working from dusk till dawn for this nest. Yeah, he's going to be working, working, working while his mate watches. <laughs> uh, go that way, osprey. Go that way. Fly! Fly that way! Come on! Flap those wings of yours! Flap those wings! Go that way! Or that way! Or do you want to go that way? You can go that way if you want. Is that the way you want to go? Or you can go that way. Get some nests. Come on, you gotta get some twigs. Get some twigs for that nest right there. Go over there. Oh, nope. He's he's uh, rearranging one of the sticks there. Like, I'll go when I feel like going. Alright, fine. Alright. Just put that branch where it needs to go. And go get another one. Easy enough. Right? She's very deep in thought. Like, hmm, is this nest really going to work out for me? Is this nest really going to hold up? I don't know. I'm not really looking the, liking the way this nest looks. Hmm, well, I think this nest will work out. I think it's just fine. Okay, whatever you say. If you say so, then sure. I think if these osprey were talking to each other, I think that's what they would say. I mean, if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for her. Start flying, start flying. Fly, fly osprey, fly. Fly this way. Oh wait, nope, 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 he's still rearranging. I can't tell him what to do when he's doing that. Come on, Osprey! Come on, fly that way! That way, Osprey. Come on, flap those wings. Over there. Come on. Fly that way. Probably scared by that whistle. Nah, that's nah, just a whistle. I'm sure they've heard a whistle before. <laughs> I'm sure that whistle sounds normal to them. All right, come on. Come on, fly that way. Fly, fly, Osprey, fly. Come on. Flap those wings. Flap those wings and go get those sticks. Come on. Don't be acting lazy now. Don't be acting tired with, for your mate now. Your mate needs sticks. Oh, yeah, you're doing all the hard work, right? <laughs> yeah, your mate is just standing there, not doing anything. All right, how about this? If you're not gonna grab sticks, then I'll, I'm gonna put my camera on my tripod so I can watch, so I can watch you. Let me just put this down. Mm. Oh crap, oh crap, don't wanna mess this up. Mm. All right, so, uh, what to do now. Um, I'm just going to put this on the tripod. And then I'm going to zoom in on them.
All right, so. All right, that's all said and done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do something special for these Osprey. Okay, so I'll be right back. If this Osprey flies off, you'll still be able to see the other one right there. All right, let me zoom in just a little bit more here. Hmm. All right, about right there is good. Okay, so I'll be right back. I'm going to go collect nesting material for these Osprey way quick, okay? Oh, there you go, there you go. Hey, hey, Osprey. <laughs> Okay, so the osprey went and is collecting more nesting material now. Let's see, he's... Okay. Okay, um... Is that the osprey right there? Is that the osprey or is that a different bird? It's flying pretty darn fast for an osprey. That can't be an osprey. It can't be. <laughs> I was thinking that it was. Well, anyways, I'm just going to continue filming the female for now right here. So many things to film. I could film this osprey over here. Or I could go over there. Oh. What's going on? Why can't I? Okay. Or I could go over there and film. Oh. What's going on? And film... Well, there was an osprey there, but now she's not there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see... I don't see this relationship lasting very long with these osprey. Thanks for turning the car off. I appreciate that. The osprey there? I don't think so. But that nest is looking so ugly compared to the new nest that's over here. Oh, and he came back. Of course he came back. Oh, there he goes again. Uh, right when I watch him. Hey there, osprey. Hey there. Oh, wow, wow. Look at that. He flew right to the ground grab something oh crap and my bag I was gonna use this bag actually to collect some twigs for the osprey uh. oh and there's an osprey that's literally flying to that nest oh man there's so much action going on today look at that look at that So we got that osprey and we got the osprey that's over and new. Just can't figure out which one to film, right? Huh. That's the mere question. All right, let me um, let me get a little bit closer over here. Yeah, there we go. All right. It's all right, osprey. Hey there. Hi, osprey. Hey there. I really like you a lot. That way I can get a straight on. Just gonna get a straight on video of this osprey right here. Oh. Mm. Yeah, look at the female right here. All right, so I'm going to film the female, and I'm going to be right back with some nesting material. All right.
dusty material. Over there. Oh wow. Oh wow, he flew off. But not to grab that though. <laughs> I guess that wasn't the right nesting material for him. Yeah, he flew over. He flew over me as soon as I dropped the uh, the things, but he didn't seem to grab them, but that's okay. Maybe he'll come maybe he'll make another trip for them. Huh, so I figured I'd put a few, a um, little bit of Span uh, Spanish moss on the ground to see if uh, the male would take them. And I blew a few whistles to him just to kind of get his attention. And it did, he di it did get his attention, but he ended up flying well over there to grab something else. Okay, there he comes. He's coming back. All right, let me just show you because I know you're not going to be able to see anything unless I'm filming him. All right, so there he is. All right. Yeah, so I have Spanish moss on the grass. It's just that... It's just that he's not going for it right now. But it is a distance away. It's far enough away that he could just swoop down and grab it. It's free Spanish moss. He doesn't have to get grab it from a tree or nothing. Although he might find it easier to grab it from a tree because it's literally dang dangling in the air. But right now I think he's just mostly collecting twigs. So if I'm gonna get something for him it would need to be some twigs. So I don't know what it is that they want. They're looking for certain sizes of twigs. So even if I helped them build the nest, I, I don't know if it would have been any help. Up oh, and there's some vultures flying. They're not going to get near those osprey though. Keep going. Keep going. Fly that way. Fly that way. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> yeah, these vultures were flying a little too close to that nest. All right, Osprey, it's time. It's time for you to go grab some more twigs. Let's see, so where should I grab some twigs at? That's the only question. Some twigs that are like accessible. I don't really see anything, although there are those bushes all the way at the ends over there. I could grab those over there. Hmm. You know where to go, right? Go that way. And let me just look around to see if I see anything now. There's the red shoulder hawk calling in the background. So 
So I can see we're going to have a problem with hawks too because there are hawks in this area. There's also hawks over in the marsh that's right at the beginning of the hickory plantation. Wow, so this is great. A new nest right there on the light pole. Wow, this osprey is actually falling asleep. What would happen if I showed this to you, huh? Set it down right there if you want it. If you want it, be smart and go grab it. <gasps> the osprey flew off. Okay, to grab more tree branches, right? Right, more tree branches for this osprey right here? Okay. Yeah, so we'll wait to see what happens with that other osprey. Um, so I said, I mean, I put the fish right there. I mean, I put, I put the fish right at this spot that makes sense. I put it on a, a mound of soil, which actually something's going to be built here. Wow, they're really going to build this place up. It's going to be amazing when they build this nest. All right, let me zoom in even further here. This osprey looks very familiar. She's got kind of orangish eyes. Maybe she does have yellow eyes. No, her eyes are orange. Like this osprey looks familiar. This osprey really does look familiar. I mean, do you think this could actually be one of the nestlings of that nest? The nest that's right behind me? Could that be the same nestling from that nest? Could it be? Could it be you? Could it really be you? Alright. So what did he grab? More sticks, right? Well, it's just amazing that this this was just a light pole and now it's got a nest on top of a light pole. That's great. Um I'm mosquitoes are getting bad. I need to really use some of that bug spray.
Yeah, so I can hear the osprey at the other nest making sounds here. One of the hardest things about filming an osprey is to figure out which osprey you want to film. I mean, I wish that I could get closer to this nest so that I can film it with my iPhone and then I can record the far further nest. I could have filmed the other osprey with... Well, I could have filmed this osprey with the telescope. Oh, here he goes. He's gonna fly off. Go that way! Get more branches. Go on, go that way. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. Yay. Okay, so there's there goes that osprey. And then we also have the osprey couple that's here too. So there she is, all alone, right on that uh, right on that light post. That's the one that it's at, that's at St. Mary's Lake, right there. Okay, so now, where could the other osprey be? That collecting branches. You better come back soon because it's going to be getting dark. Oh, it, there we go. I see him coming right around the corner here. You'll see him. There he is, right there. Oh, now he's flying kind of backwards again. Oh. What's going on now? He's flying in weird directions, weird patterns. Uh. Um, is he going to fly this way? Is he going to fly the other way now? Oh, he might fly this way. Hmm, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Hmm. Hmm. He must be having some difficulty figuring out where the next... Branches. Oh wait, there we go. There he comes, there he comes. There we go, okay. Perfect. Now, I don't have the perfect camera, you know. I mean, my camera could be better. I actually can't tilt the camera up any further than this, believe it or not. Seems hard to believe, huh? Oh, whoops, there we go. Mm. Yeah, this is absolutely beautiful right here. Hmm. Yeah, at this point in time, I think they're just going to be collecting tree branches for the rest of the day. I think that's all they're going to do for right now. I know one thing, my mosquito is getting bad. Really bad. I've never seen the mosquitoes this bad around here. The good thing about cold weather is that there's no mosquitoes. But warm weather, there's lots of mosquitoes. And I'm having a big problem right here. Hmm, I 
should have worn some better clothing. And this bug spray isn't helping. It's not doing any, it's not doing a single thing. Go grab another stick over there. Hey, Osprey. Over there. Yeah, more sticks. We need more sticks for the nest. Go grab some. Don't keep your wife waiting. She needs more sticks. You need to build this nest all by yourself. Over there. Go. That way. Now? Don't want to fly that way now? I know it's not working, is it? My strategy isn't working. We need a better strategy here. Go that way. No. Yeah, we'll just film this osprey for now. That's fine. And by the way, this isn't digitally zoomed. This is optically zoomed, believe it or not. Surprising that the osprey didn't grab any Spanish moss that I put out. I'm kind of disappointed. I just feel like there's no way that I can help this osprey. I can't put a fish on the mound. Like they don't even see it. It's it's like almost like there's nothingness over there. Like they only see what falls out of a tree. It's the only thing that they see. They don't see me setting something down. I tried throwing things, I tried just 
gently sending her on the ground. I tried everything. The osprey just won't go for it. The only disappointing factor. It's the only thing disappointing. I'm going to go collect my fish. He's not going for the fish. All right, so the osprey's still there. That's good, okay. All right, so I'm just gonna set this back inside my pouch here. This fish, this fish that's looking kind of sad right now. But it's okay. Uh, yeah, I think these osprey are starting to get tired. That's typical. I think this is a great spot for viewing this osprey. Like, this is like front row seating. Like, this is like the top spot right here. Doesn't get any better than this. Unless I was right underneath her. But, I'm not going to take my chances with that. Here is good. Here is perfect. So uh, yeah, I think uh, I think those osprey are gonna roost right there. I really think they are. If they do roost there, <laughs> that's a miracle. Um, so I do have overtime tomorrow and Saturday. Okay, so I'm gonna be working a 10-hour shift both days. So that means there's not gonna be any osprey footage. I'm not working half a day. Or half a night, rather, because I do work night shifts. So normally I work from 5.45 until 4.15. Okay, that's 5.45 p.m., by the way, and that's until 4.15 a.m. And I work four days a week, Sunday through Wednesday. And then my overtime day which is my mandatory overtime day is Saturday. There's no mandatory overtime. This overtime is only voluntary. So I don't have to pick it if I don't want to. But I decided to because I've been running low on funds and I've had credit card bills that have literally put me in the negative in my bank account. 
and so I had to pay an overdraft fee because I went negative and that's just what happens when you can't pay your bills but I, I wanted to try to pay as much as my bills as possible that way I wouldn't get charged interest because the way I see it I would have probably had to pay like an extra ten dollars if I would have let it carry over from like one month to the next I know on my Wells Fargo credit card I was charged like ten dollars in interest Wells Fargo charges like outrageous fees my American Express credit cards, the interest rate's a little bit better, and so is the Amazon credit card, but only by like a little bit. I mean, most credit cards that give you membership benefits, they charge outrageous interest on it. But it depends on how good your credit is. You know, the better your credit is, the lower your interest rate's going to be. Although now that I've had a late payment on my American Express card because I accidentally turns the auto pay off now I'm gonna have to pay interest and on the Wells Fargo credit card I actually didn't know that my card was still active and I end up being charged a late fee but I wasn't able to find my credit card anywhere on my bank account so I probably need to talk to those people about it get that late fee waived now I know for my well, uh, my American Express credit card, I could have very well turned the auto pay back on, but for some reason it wasn't letting me show my promotional stuff. I had like a six month deal. If I spent like over a hundred dollars and I like combined them together, I got like six months zero percent interest. But the website was crashing, like it wasn't showing me the information or something. I should probably probably talk to them about that too but yeah that's like 30 60 I mean it's probably like almost a hundred dollars in fees between my bank account and my credit card accounts yes the Osprey over there they're complaining about something You can hear an owl, an owl in the background. Alex. Probably a great horned owl. Alex. And now I heard one before, but I wasn't able to locate the owl. But I'd rather film this osprey. This osprey is good. Oh, there goes the osprey grabbing more nesting material. Okay, yeah, so. The male osprey just flew off and is flying around. What's going on? Why is why is he flying around but with nothing? Oh no, no. It's okay. It's all right, osprey. Keep going. Hey there. Oh my gosh, they're mating. They're mating, they're mating. Oh my gosh, they're mating. Oh, oh my gosh. They were mating. The Osprey were mating. I got it right on camera. I had a feeling something was going to happen because I saw the Osprey circling around. And usually when they circle around the dust like that, I usually know something's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and continue to film this, this one now. I'm going to continue to film the male Osprey.
Although I should probably film the female, that way in case he does fly over and mates again with the female, then I get the footage. But let me just um, zoom in so you can see that this is the male. You, you know, obviously we know which one's the male, which one's the female, because it's always the male that's on top of the female when they're mating. It's always the smaller one on top of the larger one. And females are larger than males, of course. So what should I name these osprey? Good question, right? Um, yes, yeah, so they're in a park. They seem very fearless. I don't know what to name the male. Maybe I should name the male Tom. I don't know. Tom the Osprey. I just... Oh, wait. Uh, dang it. That always happens. See, I'm trying to go down just a little bit further here so I can... Oh! There we go, okay. Okay, so there's the os the male osprey right there. Yes, definitely the male, 100% confirms that's the male. Like this is pretty much like a giveaway right here. Like you can see there's less brown spots on the neckline, way less. By the way, <laughs> thanks for the mating session that you provided to me. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, you really wanted to show everybody <laughs> how you mated with that osprey. There was, there was a woman with a kid that was actually walking. <laughs> the osprey circle around and then he started mating with the female. That was great. <laughs> I gotta love these osprey. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, so I'm just gonna stay right in this spot. I'm not gonna move, alright? Not gonna push my luck like I did with those other osprey. Not sure, like, what's up with those other osprey. Like, they just seem different, you know? There's just something about them that, you know, I mean, they used to let me get really close to them when they were roosting. Oh, battery exhausted. Yep. All right. Well, I guess I'm not going to be able to film these Osprey anymore tonight. Uh, I mean, it's getting dark anyways, but I need to buy a new camera or, yeah, sorry, not a new camera, but a new battery for my phone because... The battery that I had before, I left it in my pocket and end up getting into the washer and dryer and the battery no longer charges. And I had another one but I lost it. If I can seem to find it, then I'll certainly let you know. But I don't think it's going to be possible for me to film these Osprey with this phone. I just, just don't see that happening. I mean, unless I can just get a little bit closer. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a, an old school try. Get it an old school try, right? I mean, this, this, you shouldn't ever do bird watching or hawk watching from an iPhone. Like, that's just common sense. 
because then you're just bent up of trying to get closer and it's it's just not possible <laughs> you know you know what i mean like how much better is this footage going to look if i were closer to these osprey like how much better is this going to look like that's just the question that i have to ask and keep in mind i'm zoomed in that's as far as my my zoom will go my my zoom down all, all the way okay oh there we go okay there we go yeah so here I am. This is where I'm located. I'm sitting right here, right at the St. Mary's Skate Park, which is located right at the Hickory Plantation. So if you look up Hickory Plantation on Google Maps, you'll be able to find this osprey nest right here. So there's like so many people walking by and these osprey don't even care that these, these people are there. Like, see that guy right there? He's jog. He's walking right there. And there's the osprey nest right there. See? Yeah, it's just a shame that my battery got exhausted. So now I'm doing this old school without a camera. So there's a guy walking right underneath the nest. Wow. All right. Let me try to get a little bit closer. Um, I'm going to leave my things there for now. Uh, well, uh, that's probably as close as I'm going to get. I mean, they're about ready to roost. Uh, it's just so disappointing that I, that I don't have a way of filming these Osprey properly. I'm gonna take my chances. I'm gonna take my chances. <sighs> I'm gonna take my chances. I'm gonna try not to look at them too much. I'm just gonna try to like uh, pretend like there's nothing going on. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I don't think like if I try to get closer, it's like. Just a whole bunch of tree branches will end up obstructing the view. It's just not going to be possible. <laughs> but what do you think about me, like, getting really close to the nest? I know I'm always pushing my luck on these things. Always pushing my luck. And look at these. Wow. Whoops. I dropped my whistle. Go figure. Whoops. I can't hold my camera and do this at the same time. It's okay, don't be barking. Eh. I'll fix my... Alright, hang on, let me do something right quick. 
Okay, let me let me go back where my stuff is. Okay. Okay. <sighs> yeah, the osprey's still there. We're good. All right. So I want to try to grab my. Uh, I have a tripod for my phone. Let's see if I can grab it right quick. No. Bridge. All right, and it's right here. It's not really much of a stand, but uh, that's okay. Uh oh. Oh no, you're gonna fly off. Don't be flying off on me. Don't go anywhere, okay? For some reason, I can't seem to zoom in with my camera. Hmm. Yeah, I just can't seem to zoom in for some reason. Uh... There we go, okay. Now we're good, okay. Good, good, good. All right, so I have my tripod. It's like a little mini tripod, really. I mean, it's really all it is. And then there is a way I can lock the um, this thing in place. For some odd reason, this thing is all and thing. It, if, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Like, why is this thing so touchy? This camera is so touchy for some odd reason. All right, so I am zoomed in all the way, but let me zoom back out. Well. Uh, all right, so I have all my things here and I want to try to see if I can just record these Osprey for just a little bit longer before they roost. I saw him spreading his wings out. I'm not sure if that means that he's about to fly off or if he's gonna stay there. I don't know. I do worry about that, but I do have to be quiet now because There's a plane flying overhead. The Osprey are completely cool with it. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Huh? They're there. They're right up there. Look at that. I know you can't see them, but I'm now going to touch the pole. Oh, the osprey actually flew off. Oh, 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 good night, osprey. Sorry for touching your pole. 
<sighs> well, good night, Osprey. I guess you're all stupid birds, as usual. <sighs> they didn't like me doing that. They didn't like me touching that pole with the nest. I ruined it. All right, hopefully you don't come back to this nest, Osprey. All right, until next time, I will see you later. See you next week, rather.